Hi guys, good to have you all back. It is another mess making session, but also another cheap 6x6 six six paper pad session. We love those. Um, you th I have lots. This is not all that I have. And it's not just one, guys. These are piles. These are piles of 6x6. Six six. I also have uh, two 4x4s. Four four. I happen to have two 4x4s. Four four you could also um, use 8x8s, eight eight, but those are probably not that cheap. Most of the times, 8x8s eight are made from, you know brands and such uh, but before i start today's project i need to address something that went unnoticed this time <laughs> normally it doesn't go unnoticed uh i looked at my subscriber count yesterday and i've reached over thirty-five thousand subscribers which is amazing normally i keep track of it but this time it went so so fast um and also i was busy with so so many things so yeah celebrating we're celebrating um normally i'd have a freebie there's going to be a freebie for sure but the thing is i haven't made it yet so it's going to be a surprise i'll have a freebie for you guys because i really need to say thank you i'm sending out thirty-five thousand kisses to all of you a freebie please go download it is on my ko-fi it says uh fill an amount fill in zero lovies it is my gift to you um this is what i say all the time when i do um a subscriber milestone a celebration i cannot subscribe to my own ch channel thirty-five thousand times i need you guys for this so thank you so so much especially um the ones that have been with me since sort of day one but also to all my lovely new subscribers i am so happy that you are joining me joining us okay so uh celebrations but also let's get back to today's project what are we making we are making the simplest of simple now i have done this project twice on my channel before um one in the very very beginning and one like a year later or something and i'm gonna do it again these are envelopes with a pocket made from two pieces of six by six you can also make them from four by four or eight by eight they'll be smaller or or bigger you just need two pieces it is an envelope like so and on the back it has a pocket so an envelope with a pocket. Simple. Very simple. Um, but for decorating, guys, I'm going to go all out. I just want to show you how you can take sort of a, a cheap 6x6 paper pad uh, and add something to it and make it look really cool or really lovely or cute or, or you know, something different something make it more fancy we're gonna fancy it up we're gonna fancy it up depending on um how i'm gonna make it i'm gonna make it cutesy like this i probably add lace or something cute to it if or i'm gonna do it sort of grungy then i'm gonna grunge it up maybe by adding some hardware or what have you yes so supplies um i have a list i have a list of supplies get your pen and paper ready i'm gonna tell you Start writing it down. You need a square piece of paper. Don't even need a square piece of paper. You need two equal size pieces of paper. Preferably a 6x6, six 4x4, six, 8x8. Four four, eight eight. And you're going to need glue. That's it. Guys, that's basically it. That's what you need to make this. Just the base. So it's going to be the simplest of simple. However, for decorating, I am going to go all out. Because I really want to make them uh, look really, really nice. So... Anyone can join in. We all have six by six. Do not lie to me or lie to me. Make me feel better. We all have six by six. Yeah, I have. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Lots of cheap ones. I also have some more expensive ones. Not really expensive, but you know, um, some designer ones. And I, th I've been thinking about it, and I, th I think it's a bigger waste not to use those because they cost more. Yeah, I stopped buying 6x6, six six. well, the cheap ones, unless, you know, sometimes I find them in a thrift shop and they cost about 75 cents or even less. And uh, it's left there. It feels like it's an orphan. It is an orphan who's not wanted anymore. So out of the kindness of my heart, I take it to live with me because uh, I'm a paper lover and it, it will be joined by all his paper pet friends. So... That's my reasoning for picking up more at 6x6. Six six. Okay, guys. Take out your papers. Yeah. And uh, first, I'm going to make bases. So, we're going to do lots of 
gluing. It's so simple. Anyone can do this. I didn't come up with this, guys. No, no, I'm going to tell you a story about this. So I thought about it, and this time I am going to use my a little bit more expensive um, paper pads from some designers. Uh, most of them I, I picked up at, on a sale or or even um, in thrift shops. Yeah, for 30, uh, 75 cents. Um, and some of them are even uh, double-sided. Yeah, this is from Cartabella. And it was it was on sale, gentlemen. These are older guys. I don't even know where I got this from. Those, that is a big one. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Uh, uh, it's Katie Petit. <laughs> I didn't even know. What? No, it's not Portland on the market. Well, it's an old one. It's probably a company that you worked for before this. Oh yes, it's Katie. It says so. Katie has been designing. For... Well, hello, Katie. <laughs> Well, I'm definitely going to use this. It has different sorts of paper in it as well. Gardenia from First Paper. That is so cool. That is so cool. See, this was seven euros and now it was three fifty, and I really liked it. I really liked it. That's why I, I picked it up. Why? Just to hoard it, because never used it, never used it. And I have uh, loads of um, um, single papers that I got in Happy Mails uh, or from friends of mine. Some is double sided, some is single sided, but these are pretty ones. Well, not pretty, pretty, they're more grungy ones. And I have some from Craft O'Clock, which is a very affordable um, brand for papers. This is another one. This is not from Craft O'Clock. No. Romantic reprint hobby. Where did I get this? I can't even remember. Oh, they're lovely and pretty. So let's do some pretty ones as well. But they don't need to be double-sided, guys. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick out two pieces of paper that complement one another. Yeah? Also, keep in mind, where's my uh, prototype? Nowhere to be found, of course. Oh, here. Um, if you're using directional paper, some of it will be upside down. Yes, because we're going to fold it over. So some of it will be upside down. So unfortunately, I cannot use this. I love it. But if I fold this, I could use it on the, on the, on the inside. Yeah. Uh, some of the faces will be upside down. And that will look weird, right? Yes, weird. Okay. Not necessarily um, double-sided. You can do single-sided and in all sizes. Yeah. Pick out some papers. I'm trying to make at least 15. At least 15? Yes, let's do this. I don't have 15, I have 12. It'll have to do, guys, it'll have to do. I already sort of see a pattern. Lots of gingham in here. You know I love my gingham, yes. I'm gonna start with this. these two. It's, I think this is just the cutest. Uh, roosters and hens, yes, and uh, uh, yellow gingham. The other side is also lovely, but I'm gonna use, ooh, well, that, that makes a, peop a person dizzy, yeah. Okay, this is going to be the flap. It is directional. I know, but it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. I'm going to start, guys, with this part. This part here. I am just merely going to fold it in like so. Ta-da. This part. So this is going to be the inside of the envelope. And on the back side, the pocket. Then I'm going to put this in here. But oh my gosh, that is, that makes you dizzy. In here, and I'm going to fold it up until where I want, oh, the right side. I want the flap to have the right side. How tall do we want it? A little bit less. Like, see, not even measuring involves, not even measuring so not in half. That's heavy paper. Yeah, that's not cheap six by six. <laughs> that's way heavier. Yes, you put this in here and you put this over here. Et voila. Cool, right? I don't mind the chicken being upside down. It's upside down chicken, they're having fun. Yeah, so one. Let's do all the folding first. Um, this was from Katie Petit. The same papers. But I do, they do complement one another. So that's what I've been looking for with the papers. Um, that they sort of go together well. And I want the trees to be the right side up. So this goes in here. I'm just going to sort of measure it. 
Maybe you want your flap to be taller or smaller. <laughs> Just, you know, whatever, lovey. So I'm not giving you measurements because not necessary at all. Already like my envelopes. Yeah, cute, right? Is that crooked? No, doesn't look crooked. It'll be fine. Um, I have these two. Now this is with text, but the text goes this way, this way, this way. It goes all sorts of ways. So I'm thinking to do it like so, like so. Yeah, but this is going to be the base. Yes, I want this to be on the back. I love this and this will show up. And then and this is going to be the flap. If you want a taller envelope, you don't need to glue this all the way to the to the bottom. You can also lift it up and then fold it. I want, want my envelopes to be you know, not that tall because I want them to live inside a journal or a typing mail. Oh yes, cute. Cute, right? Lovely. This was the craft o'clock. Now let me have a look because lots of beautiful papers. Um, I think I want to have this on the back as the pocket. So I'm folding this up and then this as a... Yeah, sure. Sure. I'm not even gonna put it in. I'm just gonna fold it over. You want measurements? Okay, it's two inches. <laughs> Do two inches, love, if that makes you feel better. Two inches. I can already tell if you're doing this with the cheap paper. Much, much easier. Oh, lovely. And then this on the back. Cute, right? Another one from the Katie Petit one. Uh, this is meant to be look uh, to look like fabric. It is um, uh, single-sided. Are you going to have the... Would like so or yes, like so. Yes? Yes, 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 yes. It has sort of a structure on it. Oh, yeah. Oops. And then let's fold this to about two inches. Again, I'm not measuring at all with the bees. Oh, yes, cute. I can feel sort of a farm theme or whatever. You, oh, I needed to use this, right? Because it's fantastic. Yes, it will be sort of upside down. Um, but I don't care. I just really wanted to use it. I'm going to have this on the back. Mr. Jackson. Yes. And then this on the front, and so this will be the flap. I'm going to have a, a bigger flap with this one. Mm, slightly bigger. Because I really love this image. It's so cool, right? Yeah. A map with Yogi Bear or a bear. And um, yeah, this this wasn't my thing. I do like this and this. So this is going to be the base. I am actually doing mass making in sort of a production chain. I was looking for the word, word production chain. Just fold all of them and then, you know. Do the corner rounding if you want to. The inking. And then the gluing. Isn't it lovely? Yeah. Really like it. I know this is fall. I don't care. <laughs> is it directional? It's sort of directional. Um, but going to be fine. Oh, and look at the gim gingham. What was on the back? Lovely stuff. But not as lovely as the front. This way, this way, this way. Am I doing it wrong? Yes, this is on its side. But it works. It works for me. Let's 
so cool. Are we almost there? We're almost there. This also came from the same pad. It is single-sided. And this is um, <coughs> way thinner. So very easy to fold. So if you're doing this with your cheap pads. Yes. You're having way more fun than I am. Then. <laughs> um, it is sort of directional. Yeah. Yeah, I don't even need to use my bone folder for this. But it does look lovely. Look at the colors. Oh, yes. <clears throat> this came from the Gentleman's Emporium. But it, it reminds me of Harry Potter for some reason. I don't know. Harry Potter, right? Uh, I'm not a big Harry Potter fan. I'm sorry, guys. It's not, not my thing at all. Well, not, I, I like it, but I'm not, yay, Harry Potter. I'm, neither am I, yay, Lord of the Rings, or what have you. Um, I was, however, yay, Twilight. <laughs> uh, that's because of my sort of everlasting obsession with vampires. I know. Ever since I was a little girl. Should have been scary. Just fascinates me. Very cool. Last one? No, there are two more. Look at this. Pretty, right? Yes. Very pretty. I'm going to have this as the flap. Yes. Just, I'm going to fold. Oh, I'm going to be sort of adventurous. I'm going to fold the flap first. What? Yeah. You rebel, you. Yeah. Pretty. Pretty. And then this one looks like very old um, wallpaper. I'm going to do it the other way around. Have this as a flap. I really like the image. No. No. Love. I'm going to do this. These actually came from two different um, pads. Paper pads. And this is the tiniest bit lighter than this one. But the sizes were the exact same. And that is uh, important. Otherwise, um, is it? No, it's not. See? Then this happens. This happens, guys, when you don't have then the exact same size. Yeah. Then this happens. Not a problem. I'm just going to snip it. And then they are the exact same size. They came from different pads. Yeah. So... I'm gonna snip it okay now i'm gonna do corner rounding and inking gonna show you one the rest i'm gonna do off camera camera because that'll be boring and then we do the gluing as i was taking out my corner rounders i had an idea i'm not even gonna do it but i'm gonna show you i have two corner rounders the normal one and this has a different angle it's just bigger this is a new one i really love it i also have from fast and creative the that ones that makes the sort of snippets I, again guys just very small snippets so i'm not happy with this i'm hoping they have this in the bigger size but here was sort of the idea that popped up in my head you could do all sorts with the flap uh, and even this flap i have a box full that i never use um of these yes i don't know what they're called like decorative border punches border punches right yes and i buy these at uh, thrift shops, flea markets for nearly nothing. I do always test them out so they do work. This is an expensive one from um, Martha Stewart. But you could also make a decorative edge or have another sort of corner punch with, um, with a decoration on it. That'll be lovely. That'll be lovely. I have a box full of them. I am, not, however, not going to use them. Um, if you don't have corner punches but you do want sort of a, uh, something with an edge, you can snip... Um, like a piece of like we do with the tags right if you want to but again not necessary i am going to use um my new big corner rounder fast and creative lovies google it uh if you're from uh, within the eu of course do it has it yes it makes such a lovely sort of rounded corner now i do hope probably will um yes if you're gonna snip corners be sure not to snip the corners past this point otherwise it will look weird it'll look weird are you also gonna do the yes i'm also gonna do the back with a smaller i'm gonna do a smaller one yes smaller angle 
So, see, this is going to be the, the, the pocket on the back with all the upside down chicken. Yes, you can do some lovely decorating here. And this is going to be the front. I will decorate it. And maybe uh, I'm going to think about it, add some closures. You can ink any color you want. I've been thinking about why not get some, I don't know, uh, yellow color out or what have you. But I decided against it. So I'm going to go classic vintage photo. Oh my gosh, that's a horrible design. <laughs> and when you ink it, it looks even better. If you're really starting out, guys, and you don't have any distress ink, but you really want this look, um, here's what you can do. If you have some, like, bronzer, yes, makeup bronzer, it works. It really works. Uh, when I started this, this out, I, uh, well, I was really heavy into makeup. <laughs> At that point, I don't use any makeup anymore. Um, I used bronzer or eyeshadow. I have heard about... Um, shoe polish you can apparently uh, that's the inside love are you gonna see it no you're not gonna see it you can apparently use a uh, shoe polish for some reason why did i not round these corners you, you are going to see it because this is the inside no i'm not gonna round these corners but you do need to ink it love you can make a notch if you want to i don't think i will will i no there's enough room left yeah i'm sorry shoe polish I think it would be sticky and icky. Sticky and icky. Sticky and icky. Uh, was this the pocket? Yes, this is the pocket. So I'm going to do this with um, all of them. Um, blum, blum, blum. Yes, yes, yes. See, already looks lovelier. Already looks lovelier. And then this is the the pocket on the back so i'm gonna round all the corners on all of them and ink all of them this will take this will take me a while because i have 12 of them so i'll be right back all of them corner rounded and inked two of them i did a little bit different i'm gonna show you why um on this one as you can see there's sort of a a black border all around if i'm gonna round the corners it's gonna look off so i decided not to round the corners instead I just rounded corners on the inside and on the outside. Not necessary at all. And then this one, uh, the papers that I used for this were two of the exact same papers. So the inside was like the exact same design. Here's what I did. Rounded corners, made a notch, put lots of ink on so that you can tell where the, sort of the envelope starts and the flap begins and, you know, and such. So that's what I did different. Yeah? Already glued a lot of them. Let me show you, because this is easy, guys, uh, how I'm going to glue them. I am using um, art glitter glue. doesn't need to be heavy glue. However, I do want a thin strip of glue. You could also use, if you have some, um, a, a tape. Glue tape, yeah? If you want to use it. use glue. I don't really like using glue tape. Uh, but, guys... Glue stick will work as well. If you're going to use glue stick, your strip will be a little bit wider than when you do it with um, something like this. So your entrance of the envelope will be a little bit, well, the tiniest bit smaller. Doesn't really matter. So I'm using this. Use whatever glue that you like. Another thing that I did, some of them were double-sided. And on the double-sided ones, except for this one, because I wanted to show you, uh, I also did the inking on the inside. Not on the white ones. I'm just going to ignore the white. I'm not going to put any uh, emphasis on it. But on the, in case you're doing double-sided ones, also put a little bit of ink um, on the inside. Well, you don't even see it. Oh my gosh, I really don't like this print. <laughs> it's making me dizzy. Yeah? Okay, for gluing. Um, you have two pieces. You have your flap piece and then the base. I'm going to put glue on the base. So I'm going to fold this open. Yeah. I'm putting glue here and here. Just on the edges. That's why I'm using um, art glitter glue. Just a small strip of glue. But use your double-sided uh, glue tape if you have that and like enjoy, uh, enjoy using it. I absolutely don't. Especially now I don't have any nails. Yep. 
Okay, we decided that the rounded um, corners were going to be a pocket on the back. So I'm gluing it down like so. Yes, keep that in mind. All the way to this sort of fold. Yes, line up the edges. And then you fold this up. Make sure, guys, if you glue this down, that there's enough room here to put something in. So this doesn't need to be all the way to the end. No, it needs a little bit more room here. Yeah, that's very important. So now we have an uh, envelope thingy here and then we have pocket here. If you're the tiniest bit off, you know, ink it, ink it. Very, very easy. Yeah, envelope number one. Let me show you another one. I'm just gonna you know glue again um we are uh, yes i was a little bit confused because we rounded corners on all of these yeah the base put glue on the base just on the two sides very easy yep do not put glue on your mat um the notch was going to go on the inside yes the flap this is the inside Putting this down. Putting this up. Do they line up? They do. There you go. Another envelope. We have three more to go. Yes, well, I kept this one straight because of the straight borders all around it. That's why I rounded these to do something interesting. Now, while I'm gluing this, guys, let me tell you what happened the first time when I made these envelopes. Uh, apparently, Julia, Julia from uh, Camellia Craft Designs did uh, the exact same project, but eight months before or, or whatever. And I might have seen it there, but honestly, I couldn't remember. And um, I was playing with uh, paper and that's how I came up with, oh, if you fold like this and this. Um, and then there was this lovely lady. Um who was so very kind to remind me um, that I did not come up with the project and it was Julie's project and I should be ashamed and I should mention her and whatever. And this was in the beginning of my uh, channel and I was so upset. I was like, oh my gosh, what have I done? And I didn't know, because I really didn't know. I didn't know. I was actually I was actually sort of ready to throw in a towel because I was doing it for two months. And um, when you start out YouTube, it's scary. It's still scary. Uh, <laughs> so um, here's what I did. I was thinking uh, because I love Julie. Um, I sent Julie a message on Instagram explaining what had happened and then apologizing, even though I did not everything. Uh, did not have anything to apologize for but i was thinking oh my gosh i need to apologize because you know. and then she was so julie was so upset not with me however no with the lady who sent me the nasty message <laughs> she was like oh my gosh i am so sorry this happened to you because it happened to her um as well they're just people that are out there that want to you know do want that want some attention so Julie uh, reassured me and we had a lovely chat and I need to thank the lady because now Julie and I, you know, we communicate with one another. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't come up with it. But I don't even think Julie came up with it. But you know, who knows? There's all, only so many ways that you can fold a piece of paper and glue it together, guys. Yes. And um, um, everyone has his own method and so sort of own style. So let's just enjoy one another. So yes, I did not come up with this. Apparently Julie did. Or even another person who accidentally <laughs> folded two pieces of paper, put them together, and I was and was thinking, oh my gosh, that's an envelope with a pocket. Guess what? It is. It is. Fantastic. See? Easy as peasy. Yeah. Uh, let me get one that is dry. Uh, pocket here. You have pocket here. Yes, and you have pocket here. Yeah, what are you going to do with it? Happy mail. Put it in a journal. It's just easy and fun to make. Yes, you can even sort of probably, if you close it up, have it as a real envelope. Send it out. Send it out. Already did all of these, guys. Yeah. Well, uh, 
the base making oh there's a little bit of white here we're gonna fix it like so the base making session is done yeah now here comes for me the fun part let's decorate for decorating i'm going to use something that i have not used in a long long time uh this envelope actually reminded me of it uh, i was thinking oh forest maybe hunting and then i was thinking i had some sort of ephemera that was about hunting or hiking um it is actually it's not tim holtz it's actually kathy holden this is from spellbinders was it spellbinders i think so yeah, Spellbinders. I don't know if this is available anymore, guys. I, I bought it, I believe, last year. Maybe even the year before. Um, yes, it is the Flea Market Finds. And these are the die cuts. I also have the Butler's Variety uh, stickers and the Stationery Stock stickers. Um, yes, uh, because what was, what was reminding me? Yes, something like this camp something or... Unfortunately, I already used these. <laughs> but I want to use these small, little, lovely um, die cuts. They're a little bit heavier for decorating. For decorating. Okay, now I'm going to get this one out. What am I going to do? What are you going to do? Well, let's, let's have a look. Um, that is too much. I want to make sort of a, a closure thingy on it. That could work. Or, oh, this is also cool. Yeah, something like this. Attach it with a brad slash eyelet. Oh, yeah, it looks cool. Looks cool. I will ink it, however. And I, th I think in the sticker pack, uh, there is, well, guys, use a normal label. Yeah, you don't need to have this pack. Or uh, choose some Tim Holtz ephemera. Or just your own fussy cuts, die cuts. Or what have you. First, I'm going to glue it on, like so. Also, it puts a little bit more uh, weight to the to the flap, so it closes up. Um, well, hopefully, a little bit easier, flatter. And there we go. Do we want the bread? Of course we do. Of course we do. Um, I did not take them out. Let's have one of those. It'll be fine. This one. You could also attach a Velcro dots if you want to. This is white now. That's quite all right. You could stamp something on it or ink it if you want to. I love it. Simple. Yeah. I might add... Where are the poster stamps thingies? I had some, yes, stickers in here of po what, but use your real post stamps or Vopo. Oh, also labels. Oh, that is a perfect color. Or this. This one. Or even this. Oh, lots of greens. Thinking this. Um, it needs a little bit of distressing. Because there's a white border all around it. And there we go. I'm going to put it here. Here. I think I'm going to put it here. Postage. Did you see what happened there? Yes. Magic. Magic. Yeah? Simple, right? You could also... This. Oh, I'm going to do this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Ideas, ideas. I'm going to move it up the little bit, a little bit higher, the brad, actually, yes, so that I have uh, a tiny bit of room underneath. And now I'm going to take out something. No, that's too bright. Hemp cord. I have hemp cord. In well. A green color. Oh, what what was the start? I think here. Oh yes, it's gonna be cool. It's going to be really cool. Um, scissors. How am I gonna do this? And then I wrap it around and yay much. Yay much. Um, 
uh, I just came up with it, guys. I'm just gonna put it underneath here and then make a knot. Yes, and then you wrap this all around. Well, apparently once because I didn't cut it long enough. There we go. And make this sort of a parcel. Oh yeah, cool, right? Done. Let us decorate another one. Now I did some sort of uh, pairing up, guys, because otherwise we'll be here like until next Tuesday. Um, I'm thinking this, just just in the middle, it could do with some small brats. I think I will. Uh, I'm not going to put any sort of twine or closure thing on it. The Union Piano. Yes. Tiny brass. I have the tiniest ones. I'm going to do these. Also have some colored ones. No colored ones. No, no, no. Be careful. I'm gonna put one here. And here. Yes. I'm not really bothered with this because you know it was already white. If you are lovies, ink it or, you know, put a piece of paper on it, like book page or or what have you. Now, I really like the poster stamp uh, stickers. So here's what I did. I just inked all of them. Just inked all of them. Mm, what color? I think I want to put this color on to put a little bit more emphasis on the um, sort of purple that was on here. Well, the, well is it purple? Burgundy. There you go. Another one. Another one done. This one. Did I put something in here? Did we already pair it up? We didn't. We didn't. With the bees. Um, something with the yellow. This looks good. This also really nice. Um, bit too big. I'm thinking this one. Yeah, I'm gonna put in eyelets this time, or just stick with the brats. I'm gonna go eyelets for change, hoping it will reach. I think it will. I think it will. Could also just put it here and you know be done with it. But uh, center, yeah, yeah. Oh, center it is. Oops! A hockey puck. Yes. Um, well, you wanted brats, lobby. I did not come prepared, new. I'm not going to do big ones. I'm going to do smaller ones. Um, I'm thinking gold. Yes, gold. Because of bees and honey. Yes, 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 yes. Smaller setting. Trying to sort of match them up. Hoping that worked. I think it did. Are you going to put some... I'm going to put something else through. Just for decorating, not even for... A closure. Um, oh, it's on the right setting. Good for me. One. Two. I think I want to put something through here and then tie it. Is the yellow too yellow? Hello, banana. Also, that was green. Mm, purple. Do we have anything purple-ish? Lighter green. I have a gazillion different colors, but apparently not the purple. So I'm gonna go classic. Classic. I 
Make up your mind. Classic. Just normal. Neutral colored hemp cord. No. Just for fun, loves. Just for fun. Or could you make it into a closure like this? Ooh, yes. Okay, not just for fun. This is now a scrap lovey. I'm going to put it in my scrap box. Um, 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 um. They're going to close on the back. Oddly enough, is it? Yes, because then that is over the flap. And it looks lovely on the back. So cute. Let's do another one. Let's do cutesy one. Um, I have this because very cute. And the sort of lilac repeats here and there. Yeah, uh, let's do a little bit of inking. Yeah. Now, <clears throat> there's a whole piece on the back, of course, with the pocket. Um, that you can also decorate. And I absolutely urge you to. However, then the video will be one and a half hours again. <laughs> um, yeah, so I am not going to decorate the back. But decorate the backs, lovies. By all means, decorate the backs. This doesn't scream uh, put in an eyelet to me. Also, make sure the glue is gone. However, it will need a poster stamp. Something. I'm going to do the purple again. This one, this one. Well, this has a floral on it, so let's do the floral one. Yes, I added a, a stamp to the bee, to the one with the bees as well. Yes, I forgot. I forgot. What else do we have? The Harry Potter one, which is not Harry Potter at all. Did I pair it with something? Oh, I even have two pieces. Oh yes, because why not do two pieces? Uh, matches and this small little collage i really like the pop of red so i'm also going to put a, a red stamp on it why limit yourself to one piece of decorating when you can do two Yeah, cool. Just cool. Eyelets? Brats? Well, no eyelets for sure. No, I'm not going to do brats. I'm going to leave it as is. I am going to add a red um, poster stamp, however. Did I glue it down? Of course you did. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I love the inside as well. It's upside down, but I don't really mind. No, all the crests are, yeah, okay. Cool, right, yes. Lovely, lovely. What else do we have? Well, some of them I already matched up with a piece of um, ephemera. Oh, yes, this key. Doesn't it look fantastic? I think I'm just going to put it on like so. I think it's awesome. Needs a bit of inking here and there. going to put one brat here just because of fun has nothing to do with traveling but I just love the color on it um so we do the bright the bright post yes of course we're gonna do the bright post stamp oh I was <laughs> for a second I was like Oh my gosh, these colors match up perfectly. Of course it does, because it's from the same brand and the same sort of uh, collection. So, yeah. I was thinking, oh, how lucky am I that these colors match up perfectly. I'm not that lucky, love. Um, a bronzy one, bronzy one. Oh yeah, it's just cool. Just for fun, lovies. I'm not going to put any twine around this one. So cool, right? Yeah. 
What else do I have? Um, cutesy one. What did I put with the cutesy one? Oh, something cutesy. Yes, I have this one. And then I have this. I know it's lots of colors. Uh, but I think it will work. Yeah. Don't know about the post-it stamp though. What color am I going to do for post-it stamp? Just like so. Did I put it upside down? Oh my gosh, I put it upside down. I didn't sort of realize there was an up and a down on this one. Yes. No upside down hands, thank you. There we go. Cool. But now for the... I'm thinking blue because there's a little bit of blue here. Tiny bit of blue. So let's add some more blue. Yes. Yeah. Cool. What else? What do I have here? Uh, surprise. Surprise, surprise. Oh yeah, this is my favorite one. This is my favorite one, guys. Look at this. That is cool, right? Yeah, I'm going to put it smack in the middle. And I'm going to put on Velcro dots. So it will be an actual closure. And it needs a poster stamp. We're going to do the light with the purple. I'm going to do the purple. Are you? And not a light, nice golden. I've used the blue one already. Well, purple it is. Is it going to be... Oh, yes, purple. Purple looks lovely. Oh, I need to cover up a number. Okay, well. Bye, number 23. So, yeah, I'm going to put on a Velcro dot. Guys, we're going to do that a little bit later because that's not exciting to look at. Um, I have this one. I have this one. I did not put anything with this because these I glued on later. Let's just find something that we like for this. I have this big hand, but it doesn't go well with the color. Also, I have a small hand. Oh, yes, here in the black. Does it need anything else then? Oh, it is. Yeah? Do we have a black poster stamp? Probably don't. Oh, we could do this color. Yeah, gonna do this. Excelsior machine needles. This is for uh, sewing machine needles, apparently. Apparently, and this is a gloss. I'm thinking maybe there's something else in here that would work really well because. Is oh, these are gorgeous. I didn't even see those. No, I'm gonna go post stamp because it's an envelope, love. Um, going for this color, see, to match up this one. Simple, simple but effective. Now, I do have a piece in here. But it's rather big, so I am doubting if I'm going to use this. It is cool, though. Am I just going to? Yes, I'm going to. Also, I'm going to add a um, different sort of style of closure. I'm going to put this here. Yes. And I'm going to uh, add four eyelets here and here. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I'm going to do that off camera really quick because I have two more to decorate. Just two. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Um, I'm going to put on um, four eyelets, guys. And then I'm going to show you what the closure will be like. So I've put in my four small little eyelets. And I have taken off two pieces of the sort of greenish baker's twine. I'm going to go in here 
you're gonna do you can do this a couple of different ways guys uh with making closure yeah four holes just you know figure something out i'm gonna do with this there and there come on yes i'm gonna tie them on the back because of lovely decorating here and i really love the color on this What's going on, sweetheart? Well, it's another uh, day, so I want to go outside. I know, love. Uh, we have our new fence. Uh, but Jackson can climb on the fence and go over it. And I do not want him to go over it. So we've ordered sort of a system to put on the fence. It will look like a prison. <laughs> I know, but you know. Uh, I'd rather have it look like a prison than... You know, have my cat underneath a car. See? Cute, right? Yeah, needs post stamps. I'm thinking something. Will the red do? Yes, reddish. There we go. Fantastic. I have two more. I have a lovely pink one. Now, this is going to be sort of difficult because I actually couldn't find anything that went well with this. Maybe, maybe this? No. So I might need to search for something else somewhere. I also have these lovely flowers. Hmm. Let me have a quick look. I think I'm going to do the burgundy one. Yeah. Uh, maybe add a, flower, a floral on it. I think so. I think. I think we'll add a floral. Burgundy. This came from the set, by the way. Um, yes. Manufacturers of dealer in gum coke. Oh, I don't know. In something. Varnishes. It was in Philadelphia. Are you going to add this? Not necessary at all, lovies. No. It's cute though. Do we want one or two? Just one. Gonna do just one. Hopefully the glue will work. It is paper, so it should work. And then I have this post-it stamp that is sort of burgundy-ish. I think I'm going to have it there. Oh yeah, it's actually cute. It's actually cute. Yes. One left, probably my favorite one. Um, I don't think I have anything in here. Did I put anything in here? That that would, well, lots would work. But um, I have something. Do I have it here? From 49 and Market, I have some post-it stamps. Wind roosters on them. So it really needs to have one of those on. Because it really reminded me of it. I have never used any of this. Um, where do I open it? Oh, I'm going to rip it. From, I know for sure I'm going to rip it. Please work with me. Yes, there we go. Oh, the black is already fantastic. Well, for sure. Carefully rip it, love. Yeah, oh, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Look at that. Uh, you could be done. Um, but there's also a yellow one on here. Where was the beginning? Come on, loves. Uh, this is Vintage Artistry con Countryside. It's from last year, maybe even the year before. Where, where's my yellow rooster? All the way over there. But it is fantastic. <laughs> I'm going to get it, get it out. And then put this back. It's washi tape, so it should work. Do we want two? Yeah, we want two. I'm just going to put on two. Yes. I also have some 
uh, yellow baker's twine that I'm going to use all around it. And I know I have a piece of digital, of digital ephemera that says fresh eggs somewhere on my computer. And that's what I'm going to do, guys. I'm going to look for it on my computer. Did we do all the rest of them? I think so. One, two, three, four, five. I have one. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yes. So I'm going to look for the, for the digital. Um, and speaking of digitals, here's the plan, guys. I am going to film my end result way later. You're not going to even notice it. Because I really want to have a freebie for you guys. So I'm going to make a freebie. Yeah. Um, and finish the last yellow one. It's going to be fantastic. And then do the end result and show you the freebie. Yeah. Plan? Okay. I'll see you in a second. And for me, it's probably going to be tomorrow. So see you then. I'm back. Did you miss me? I'm going to do this really quick because I know you've been waiting for the freebie. That's what you've been waiting for. Finish this one. Yeah. I knew I had a digital. This is from Michelle to Jung Journal Studio from the Summer's Bounty Kit. Uh, Michelle's always linked below. This is one of my favorite kits of all time. Summer's Bounty. So it says Madame Bloomer's Egg Savers with a closure. Just lovely. Made this one. It doesn't even need a Velcro dot because uh, this is puts a lot of weight on it. Yeah. Uh, this is upside down. Just put something else on it to, you know, distract from the fact that it's upside down. This will need a Velcro dot. Yes. This with the double closure. Really like it. Yeah. Uh, and you can put something underneath and something in. It's just pretty. This is probably one of my favorites. Um, it's really Tim Holtzy. I know Tim Holtz uh, did something last uh, last Christmas. Um, with a stamp set that says something lumber. Whatever. That would work perfectly for, uh, for this um, paper. Uh, the Harry Potter one. Put something Harry Potter on the back. I did not decorate the backs, guys. This came from the Katie Petit um, paper pad. However, guys, it's four to five years old. You cannot get it anymore, probably. Neither. Um, I don't think these will be available. The ephemera that I've used. I'm sorry, guys, but I need to use some stuff up. The ephemera came from Spellbinders, Kathy Holden, Flea Market Finds. I just think they're all really lovely. Probably my favorite. I absolutely adore the key. It's so cool with the brat. Yes, speaking of brats, more brats here. Just lovely. And I added a label to this one because it was a little bit too blank for me. Yeah, so lots of them. Let's check out the freebies. The freebie, guys, it is five pages. I've made it in US letter size and in A4. Mind you, yes, I'm showing you A4. If you print yours out the the letter size the margins all around will be different it is what it is guys i have to deal with this all the time because i print on a4 and most of the digitals i have are us letter size okay it is vintage sewing themed i absolutely love it five pages this is one um cut every sort of sections out lovies put eyelets in here and then with some baker's twine or just for the fun of it Another one, sort of inspired by a street of dressmakers. I added a little bit of pastel to it. Again, cut all the different parts out. It is linked below on my Ko-Fi, uh, guys. It is a freebie. It says fill in amount, fill in zero. Um, be creative because you can cut everything out, make it into cards or fuzzy cut it. Use the, I would especially use, use the strips. And then this one, it's just so pretty. I added a little bit more um, color to this. Yeah. This one with a little bit of bigger images. Make this into bits and bobs. Cut everything out or just use it as a page. It is just fantastic. I will do a big kit um, someday with vintage sewing. But it's one of my favorite things. Uh, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for uh, subscribing. If you haven't, please subscribe. Yes, it's in your best interest. Because every milestone I will have a freebie out. Okay, I'll be back again this Friday with another very easy simple sort of small tutorial we're doing mass makes anyone can join in it'll be lovely so I'm hoping to see you then until Friday bye guys